Hi, my friends. Captain Jason Morton here. I wanted to talk to you guys about something, and I saw, and I'm telling you, I'm coming across Facebook, and whenever I see something, and I don't care, I'm all dirty, and I drop food all over me. People don't understand. Even with a person that's got millions of dollars, they can be the un unhappiest person. I mean, look at these people. Robin Williams fought depression his whole life, and he seemed so happy. You would think with all the, com com I mean, Jim Carrey, you would think he would be happy since he's a comedian. He's fighting depression. A lot of the smartest men in the world will be fighting depression because they know something is not right with this world. They see, especially comedians, they see into things and they say, that doesn't make any sense. George Carlin, go back and listen to him. I mean, just highly intelligent people. And he'll say, well, this doesn't make sense about God. This doesn't make sense. This, And go back and listen to his stuff. I mean, <laughs> I already told you, intelligence doesn't have to do with language. I can speak three languages and write three languages. It doesn't make a difference that I can't spell what the crap and that I was dyslexic until I was nine years old. That's not what matters because I wasn't taught what you guys were taught. As a child, I was taught Indian things and it made me a great hunter. It made me great with the military. It made me great. It doesn't make a difference. You know, weapons, knives, I've been handling since I was a small child. And like I said, Indians had it right. And a guy came by the other day and had some arrows and some knives. And No, I don't want to collect arrows and knives. I don't want anybody saying that. And Luna Rashamari was asking me, you know, are guns the only thing you collect? And no. I mean, I got katana swords. I got uh, all kinds of different knives. I've got all kinds of... But I put all that stuff away. I'm not having that stuff stolen. That's collector's stuff. I already knew in advance that I was going to be robbed. <laughs> so did the insurance company when they tried to cancel me. I mean, it's not, it's not a joke. They knew as well as I knew that the whole thing was a setup. That they were sending in people looking through my shed, acting like they were trying to help me. Wanting me to do computer work for them. Stealing my SanDisk card. Sending my neighbors over to me. Making me laugh. Asking me stupid questions. What am I building in my attic? It's, it's always, I already told you. Anytime that they send somebody to me. And I'm going to be assuming that they're sending them to me. I mean, <laughs> nobody comes here for no reason. They all got some kind of agenda. Making me laugh. I don't care. I really don't. I'll play games all day. I already told you guys. So, at one point I just got sad and sick of the games. Because I really thought my daughter thought I was a crazy person. And it doesn't have anything to do with being crazy. It has to do with I already know what's going to happen in advance and then I try to change it. I already explained it to my daughter how it works. She's the only one I did explain it to I told her, I see things and then things can change. You can make a different decision and then I can see something else that happens. Because I didn't do what I was going to do. And it's weird. And it's like a deja vu. It's like I'm dreaming when I'm awake. And I don't know how to explain it. I didn't know how to explain it to the judge. Except for tell the judge I have visions. And then he stuck me on freaking psychotic medications for having visions. That happen. It's all good. It makes me laugh. He shouldn't even have been the judge to be in my medication court. I mean, he's my judge for my case. He shouldn't stick me on psychotic medication. They already know that that's, that shit's totally illegal. But they did all kinds of stuff that was illegal. I mean, sent me to the mental hospital when I looked right at him and said... They were profiling me off of Facebook, and I can prove they were profiling me off of Facebook. I just told Celine yesterday 
I put stuff in my phone, and the only way the freaking cops would know what I was up to was if they were already in my phone and being told by the FBI who's in my phone. There's only one way they could know. Because I didn't show those videos to anybody or put them on YouTube. They're in my computer. And I created them with my phone. And the one before, when I got angry and went down to the police station and said I had a gun in my briefcase, they locked me out of the police station. I didn't show that damn video to nobody. I only put it in my phone. And on my walk down there, I got there and the damn thing was locked. And I looked at Jody and I said, come on, Jody. <laughs> Let me in. You know I'm not going to hurt anybody. That, just like when I walked to the state mental hospital and said my gun was in my freaking, you know, <laughs> and my keys were in there. Uh, it's all making me laugh, and it all makes me laugh so much, but they know, like I told you, they know because they're in my phone. I know they're in my phone. They know they're in my phone. They know I normally tell the truth all the time. So, uh, it depends. Every once in a while, I have to fuck with them and throw them a curveball. I really do. But I'm not messing with people that are honest with me. Once you start lying to me, then we're going to have a problem. I'm going to start messing with you. If I catch you lying, I'm not going to believe a word you say. And we're going to have a problem. That's why I already told him I don't trust Dr. Gonzalez. I don't trust Dr. Bonnie. I don't have a problem with Dr. Jenna Miller. Because she didn't lie to me. She said, I didn't put you in there. And I said, I know. I put myself in there. Because I knew what I would do to them cops for hurting my... Threatening to hurt my kid. I wouldn't even have cared about me. If they were threatening to kill me, I would have left it alone. But you threatened to kill my kid. I left it alone when they killed my dog. And I was only sad when they got rid of my other two dogs and I haven't gone to mess with the dog pound and I really really should but I haven't because I love animals it doesn't do any good like I told Celine to take down the dog pound who are helping animals if you're helping and that's what I told Celine. If you're helping, that's one thing. But if you're setting people up, that's a totally another thing. That's not what we do. If we look through your computer and you're doing kitty porn, yes. Fucking, we're going to fucking set you up to get in trouble because you should be in trouble. We're not setting people up that freaking are doing nothing wrong. Having people come in and put kitty porn in their computer and then tell him Parkview to freaking test say, you know, there's kitty porn. He's saying he's doing pedophilia porn and shut the fuck up. I didn't say none of that, Parkview. And Celine said, Well, why why are you gonna go over to Parkview now for to get your hand looked at if you don't like Parkview? And I said, it's not that I don't like Parkview. I don't trust Parkview. I've got a certificate, death certificate for my child. And they wouldn't let me see the child. I've never trusted Parkview from fucking day one. I used to wake up in Parkview behind the, locked in behind the doors for three days in a mental hold, an M1, and go, you goddamn cops, you sons of bitches. When I was drunk, I would wake up because I would be out at the bar somewhere and they didn't give me a DUI. They just fucking locked me up. That's why I told Celine, I don't know if you guys are helping me sometimes or if you're hurting me. What do you want me to say? I love you guys as much as you love me. You're setting me up. Oh, I'm going to fucking set you up. You don't even know. And then you want to lie and turn it all around and put it on the spy community. Are you freaking crazy? Do you know what we do? People will fucking disappear. That ain't no joke. My community is doing everything after we did everything for your asses. You guys are freaking lame.